Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm very excited for today's video because I got the new Trixie Cosmetics palette. So this launched on Friday for $48 um, and it is now Tuesday. It got here last night, Monday. So it got here very fast, uh, very happy with their shipping and they're generally pretty fast. And I can't wait to try this out. So this is the Girl Talk palette. It is 90s toy slash sleepover inspired. It looks super cute and I am very excited to try this out. So I'm going to do some swatches, see how the shades look, and maybe some comparison swatches. And then I'm going to do at least one look and give you my thoughts, see how it compares to the other palettes from Trixie Cosmetics that I have. And if you're new here, welcome. My name is Colin. I am a non-binary Latinx scientist and lover of makeup with a soft spot for any makeup and colorful makeup. And I have new content every week, so I'd love to have you subscribe. So this is the outer box for the palette. It looks the same as the actual palette itself, except for it has like the ingredients listed on the back. It does say that it was made in the United States, 12 months shelf life. I believe all of their products are cruelty-free and vegan, um, but it doesn't say so on here, but I do believe so. it says so on the, the website. Um, and then when you open it up, it's got these cute little hearts on the inside. Trixie really does well with packaging. And then here's the actual palette, looks the same. There's a lot of really cute details on here, like the fake texture by having like these holographic bits here and there. Um, on the top of the palette, it says, does the Trixie logo, it says girl talk, and then it has a little fake headphone jack to kind of make it look like one of those handheld games even more. Um, super cute, really excited to try this out. And then when you open it, you get a nice big mirror rectangular like the rest of them it says this plout it says this palette belongs to with a blank spot like an old trapper keeper and then it has the 12 shadows here they do look a little more pigmented and a little more vibrant in person they looked there are there are some pastels in here but it looks more rich and saturated in person than it did in the promo photos but i am very excited this does seem like a very spring palette, not necessarily going into fall, but I don't think Trixie really follows seasons for her releases. Also, you can kind of say this is a back to school palette because it is very 90s themed. The shades are really cute. I, I can't wait to try this out. So also I'm very surprised that the ratio of shimmers to mattes, normally her palettes are like mostly mattes with like a few shimmers and this is almost half and half, I think. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven shimmers, and then one, two, three, four, five mattes. So it's mostly shimmers, which is not normal for Trixie. So the only other pastel slash bright palette I have that might be comparable is the Natasha Denona pastel palette. Um, I've tried some pastels from other brands before, but I've decluttered them because they didn't show up on my skin tone. Um, and you can see some of these shades are similar but not, you know, they're not dupes for each other. You can also see how big the pans from Trixie are compared to the Natasha Denona. This is the midi size. You can see quite a bit of product. So you're paying $48, but you're getting a lot. Um, but I could say like this mash shade is pretty similar to Brisk up here. Um, I would say Speed Dial is like a more saturated version of Zest, although Zest is a cream to powder, so it's more matte. This is shimmer, but you, you see the similarities. So this is definitely not as pastel, which I am happy about because I do really like this palette, but I don't wear just pastels that often. The palette also came with this little sticker sheet. Um, Super cute, so you can decorate it. It's got little tricksy versions of classic 90s things. So there's an old phone. It says your crush on it. Um, Colleen, it's got the little, I don't remember what those are called, but the little paper things that we used to use in elementary school. There's a VHS tape, a retainer, um, a teddy bear. It's just a teddy bear, but it kind of reminds me of the shape of the ones that you could like draw on and then throw in the washer and then draw on again. I don't remember what those were called. Um, there's a Caboodle, a, C a Walkman, nail polish, and a Furby, of course, a Trixie Furby. So I think this is really cute. I will probably put these on my palette, but I don't know. Um, so we'll see. Also, before I do swatches or anything, I did want to do a little mini review. Trixie recently launched, like maybe three weeks ago, a bunch of makeup tools. So like 
little scissors that you can keep in your kit and cut your lashes with or cut something with, um, uh, eyelash curler, tweezers, like that kind of stuff. Um, but you know, the Trixie cute versions of them. And I ordered the tweezers with this. I knew I wanted to get them already. I don't need an eyelash curler and I don't use those little scissors very often, although I might buy those eventually. But I did need a new pair of tweezers because the ones I have suck. Um, so the, this is the little case they came in. They're $12, comes in a little carrying case. They stay safe and it's magnetized. And then this is the, the actual set of tweezers. I think these are really cute. I think she did a good job with the little logo and she made this part thick, one, so it fits the logo and two, so you have a nice big surface area to pinch with, which I appreciate. And then it has a very sharp, precise point. I've already used this a couple times to pull, pluck a couple little hairs and stuff and it worked very well. Um, and $12 is not that bad. I feel like I spent $10 on the cheap ones I got from Target that sucked. So very excited for these and also love that they have a cute little case. So um, if you are in the market for tweezers <laughs> or any of those kind of tool things and you were gonna make an order for something else from Trixie, I definitely recommend checking these out. So I'm gonna swatch the palette. I have nothing on my arm. I just took my watch off. I do have, I am a medium depth and I do have an olive undertone. So some shadows might look a little different on me like the yellow, but just a heads up. Um, I also don't really care about the performance of a swatch. That doesn't really tell me how it's gonna perform in the eye. This is just to see what the color is gonna look like out of the pan. So the first shade is Cooties, which is this very bright green. It's a little bit of a textured shimmer, but it's very reflective, like a sea foam. Speed Dial is more of a smooth shimmer metallic, but very reflective still. This is a little more like sparkly and glittery, and this is very smooth. And then Sugar Rush is the pink shade, which is also the more smooth formula. And that is a very bright pink. So we've got So those are all really pretty and that is, they swatch really nicely. This one definitely isn't as thick as the other two, but it is that sparkly formula. I don't know if it's her glitter formula. She does have, her glitter formula is like a hybrid between a pressed glitter and a shimmer. Like it's like you added pressed glitter to a shimmer. So there's still a base to it, but it's just extra textured and sparkly. They, they smooth out when you use them, but like it looks a little more and feels a little more textured. I don't know if that's what this is, but it does kind of remind me of that, but it is just a sparklier shimmer. The other two are very opaque and pretty. Um, she doesn't label her shimmers different things. It just says like shimmer or not. Okay, so the next shade is Mash. Um, and that is the first matte. Looks like a pretty pigmented, like, mint, pastel mint. Dear Diary looks like another smooth metallic mint, so you could do, like, monochromatic look. Jinx is this shade. This feels a little, it's a little drier. Like, there was actually some kick up in the pan, um, and it's, it's like a white pink, like a iridescent pink duochrome. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of pink around the edge, like where it sheared out on the edge of the, where I touched it. Okay, it's pretty pigmented for a pastel mint. Yeah, so this is a little drier. I think that's something to do with duochromes often like are kind of a little dry. Uh, not when you buy them from like Terra Moons or Davina, but like from mainstream brands, they're always just a little drier than a regular shimmer. Okay, so we've got Star 67, which made me laugh. I was too poor to ever use that. Just very, very bright yellow. Uh, little Sis is a very bright pink, very creamy feeling. And there's maybe a little bit of a shift to it. Um, whatever is this really pretty like 
fuchsia. So that actually swatched pretty well for just a bright yellow, almost neon. Yeah, this pink, this is very creamy and it has like a little bit of a blue sheen to it, I think. And then there's the fuchsia, really pretty. And then the last three are, what is this? BFF Forever, which is this really pretty purple kind of lilac shade. I will probably do this. I'll probably do a purple look today. And then Lights Out, which Trixie described as the color of the like see-through Game Boy colors. Really pretty. That one's a little drier as well. And then Boy Band is the deep shade. It's really nice grape purple. You can see this one is a little drier, so there's a little bit of kick up in the pan and on my table. Lilac's really pretty. That is, that is a really unique purple shimmer. It really is the color of that, like, Game Boy. And then here's the dark purple. That's one really nicely. I think I'm gonna do a purple look, maybe put like this or this on the inner corner. Um, these I feel like I will use more as a monochromatic look where I do like a shimmer and a matte or something, um, or it's like a popper, pop in the inner corner. So I think I'm gonna try the purples today. So I'm gonna go wash off my arm and I'll be right back to do a look. Okay, so I'm back and ready to film. I primed with my Urban Decay eye primer, and then for the rest of my face, just to, it'll all be in the description box, but it's my House Labs Foundation, Kosas Concealer, Trixie Blush, the shade Sweetie, the cream blush, and then the Trixie Bronzer and Highlighter, the, the highlighter that's in the Trixie Bronzer. Really like the way my skin looks today. I do, I will be filming the House Labs Foundation video probably later today. I don't think I'm gonna wear this all day. I think I'll probably wash it off and do the, the other video. Um, I wanna get some filming done today. I might try to film a few things just because I haven't had a chance. Uh, either my husband's had a lot of calls where like I can't film because he's on the phone right there or I just haven't been feeling well. Um, I have chronic migraines and I have some chronic pain that they're still trying to diagnose that I've had, you know, for 20 years. <laughs> nothing, no, you know, nothing new. But it's been really bad lately. Um, yesterday I could barely even get out of bed. Uh, my husband had to physically help me get out of bed, so my body is not happy with me right now, so I just haven't been able to film. So I feel like I'm the last person in the world to film with the House Labs Foundation or the new Natasha Denona or something, but they will be coming this week. And this is a new release and I just got it, so I figured I'd start with this one. Um, so I'm going to do a purple look, like I said. So I'm going to start with the shade BFF for EAE. Um, and I'm just going to put that on. This is a fluffy Sigma brush. This is a Sigma E38. I just oscillate between my Sigma brushes and my rougher. Um, so I'm going to pick up, picks up very nicely. Tap that off. And I do have a couple Trixie mirrors I could use, but I'm just gonna use the one in the palette. And I'm gonna put that into my crease. Nicely pigmented. I feel like Trixie shades are, I don't know what I would compare them to. Like they're pigmented and kind of soft, like, like lethal or um, nomad, but generally a little less kick up than, like they're a little firmer pressed than those. But they blend really effortlessly for both this kind of a look and if you do them like a dry clean where you just kind of press the shades on, they work well for that too. So I just built this up nicely, blended it through my crease and I think that looks really nice. Generally, if I'm doing a shade that I want throughout my crease, because I have kind of hooded eyes, not fully hooded, you can still see part of my lid, 
I tend to stop, pause, and look straight ahead and then make sure I can still see the purple. And then I'm gonna take another small brush and I'm gonna pick up Boy Band, the deep purple. Looks really nice, tap it off. There is some kick up in the pan, but I'll just try to pick that up when I go in next. And I'm just gonna put that right here. I think this would look nice this purple will work with the shade or with whatever. So you could use it to deepen up either if you want, or you can do, you know, no depth. Just do like a matte and a shimmer with a lot of these. So that was one dip. I think that worked pretty well, especially for purple. Purples are notoriously hard to formulate. And this is a pretty fluffy brush. And you can see, even for being the darkest shade, there's still a bit of brightness to it. So it's adding depth, but like, I could just wear that all over the lid and it would look nice. And now I'm just gonna run that into my crease. And then I'm gonna go back in with the first shade, the BFF shade on the same first brush and just blend everything together. So I really like the way this looks. I think I'm gonna use a little bit of star six, nine and whatever underneath my eye. So I'm gonna put a little bit of this on the inner part and then whatever out here and blend it into the crease or into the dark purple. So I'm just picking up star six, nine on this little packing brush. I'm gonna pack that right here. Okay, I don't have any eye primer under my eye. Just set concealer and that is definitely showing up. Okay, so that pink, the yellow worked really well. Um, I do think over like a tacky primer on the lid, it'll pop even more, but that looks really nice for no primer right there. And then I'm gonna use the same brush and I'm gonna pick up whatever, the more fuchsia color, and I'm gonna put that right here. Okay, really like that. These would be really cute together in the crease as well. Do like yellow here, fuchsia here. And then using a small pencil brush, I'm gonna pick up a little bit more of the dark purple and I'm just gonna connect everything right here. Okay, I really like that. Next, I'm gonna take a little bit of glitter glue and put that on my lid because I wanna use that lights out shade, but it is a little textured and I think having a, a tacky base will help. So I'm gonna put a little bit of that all over my lid. And then what I do is I put it all over the lid and then whatever's left on the brush, I kind of tap on my inner corner. And then I've got my favorite brush for shimmers. This is a Refer 21. I'm gonna pick up Lights Out. You can see there's definitely a lot of texture, but it picked up very well. And I'm gonna place that on at least the outer half, maybe the whole lid, we'll see. That's really pretty. I don't have another purple that looks exactly like this. And I think the tacky base was a smart idea. I really like that. Makes me wanna go play Pokemon on my old Game Boy Color. Not that I actually have it anymore. Or that it would work. I really like that. And then I think I'm gonna take a little bit of Little Sis and put that, same brush, and just put that on the inner part of the lid. And I'm just gonna blend the two together. And then using the same brush again, I'm just gonna pick up a little bit of that Jinx shade and I'm gonna put that on the inner corner and then blend it into Little Sis. Okay, I really like that. I'm gonna go off camera and finish this on the other eye and add mascara and stuff and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back and I just copied the look onto this eye, added mascara. No liner today, just because I didn't feel like it, and I am very happy. I also threw on 
uh, House Lods lipstick. This is the shade Melon. It's kind of a bright pink, but also not. Um, and I thought it would go well with the pink 90s whatever vibe. So I am very happy with the look. I think they all performed very well. I'm also really pleasantly surprised with how well this yellow worked under here with no primer. So I am very happy. I think this looks really cool. I, I really like this look. <laughs> um, so I didn't use every shade in the palette. I didn't use the two mints. I didn't use this shimmer and I didn't use these two green shimmers, but I used the entire bottom row and, and uh, the drink shade. And I am very happy. I think they all performed really well. If you want to see more looks with this, let me know and I can definitely do that. Um, but I'm very happy. I think this, this is giving me the look I have. If you remember the ColourPop Sailor Moon palette, how it had like a bright yellow, a couple pinks, and then some like really faded beige neutrals. This is like, the look I'm wearing now is like an amped up, more pigmented version of that. I did a similar look with that Sailor Moon palette where I combined these two kind of colors and I had some purples. And this is just like a more pigmented version of that, a better version. <laughs> so I'm very happy with this. Let me know in the comments below what you think of the palette, what you think of the look. Um, I'd like to hear your opinions as always. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Remember to like and subscribe and I will see you in my next video.